more than pay attention to what I say. The present Prime Minister can't lose his visa. You want to pay attention? The present Prime Minister can't lose his visa. That's why the urgency was put into the last election and all of that money was spent. It was the biggest handout ever gave for the last election. You know. Everybody get money, you know. People get free gas, you know. You got a gas station, you just got to fill up your tank and gone, you know. Certain gas station under the, the program, them get money, them get, people get, every done get called and get money for give people in them constituency and them here because they had to win the election. You understand? It was a must for them win the election because if they lost the election, a lot of these MPs that you see, including the Prime Minister, would have probably been in Bangor and Ghana, US. You understand what I say now? Now, the regular man on the street don't understand. That's something there. So now, when these disease speculations are come, if you notice, every time the American government make a speech towards this disease thing. The Jamaican government follow protocol. The American government announced it are coming to winter and they want to implement new joke and bag of thing for the season to protect you from rate AT. You notice uh, Broger in him speech mentioned the same thing. If you are, if you are pay attention. I remember said bro God mentioned the same thing said that come up to a particular season and protecting yourself is the most important thing to do while Joe Biden has said the same thing when you not follow when you not pay attention so enough of the things them where Andrew implement and I say for do him not really want to do it but he might try to protect him own self cause the problem bigger than just we but he's willing to sacrifice the people for him own a good. You understand? For him own escape of problems. Him willing to sacrifice the people them. And I just want him have a problem now. I just want him have a problem. Bro, step down as Prime Minister and go face your problems. Not crucify the people them because of your own problem, brother. Cause what you are doing now make no sense and it's showing. It, it, it's showing that you're not making any sense. It has shown say obviously you're not a car for yourself. It obviously you're not following your own rules and regulations and feelings and opinion. I remember you come from when until we say nobody not supposed to force you to take nothing where you don't want to take and then you come back now and tell people have to take it your minister of health I got to tell the people say, if they want water then to take this joke here and you don't see nothing wrong with that You don't see nothing wrong with that. Somebody said, why me know so much about Jamaica and I don't want to go home? Because I am situated here. I have to stay here. I have a pending case that I cannot leave. It's not me by choice. I don't want to go to Jamaica. I can't. I cannot leave the United States of America. Because I have pending business with the state. Why not that they understand? Before I get locked up in a Jamaica, I come from when I get locked up in you know, remember? Why don't I ask stupid questions all the time? I was on a cruise ship coming from Jamaica when I was arrested exiting the cruise ship. You don't, you never hear the story? So it's not that I don't want to go to Jamaica or I don't love Jamaica or I don't want to be a part of the Jamaican society. I have pending issues here in America that I have to deal with. 
Anyway, you get your little one minute of it. Enjoy yourself. So, what I say now is, people, if the minister was pressured to resign, there are a lot more people who need to resign, including the prime minister. You understand what I say? Um, and I also, I I also stand by my argument that I said that I said about a year ago or or more. Zin and I said I, in my opinion, in my views, as I see it, Andrew Olness is the worst prime minister I've ever seen. A lot of people disagreed when I said it first. I know a lot of them not disagreeing right now at this moment. You understand me, I said? Um, as a person, I don't know him as a person because some of can't say he's a bad person. Like, when him off the job, I don't know. I cannot say he's a bad person. But based on the job requirements and the delivery of your jobs and your decision, you are the worst prime minister I have ever seen in my life. I am 40 plus years old. You are the worst. That's just me saying that and saying it without an apology. In terms of you being a person, I don't know. I cannot say you're a bad person. I cannot say you're a good person. Okay? I am saying in the race of prime ministers, best and worst, you are the Shakari of prime minister race. Yes, I said it. Mr. Olness, in the race of prime minister business, best or worst, you are the Shakari of politics yeah so me first I got set the notion to ask the prime minister for him resignation and I would ask that people would do the same start making videos asking Mr. Olness to step down as Prime Minister. This is my my request, my plea to the Prime Minister. Please, sir, step down from the leadership post. You are doing a horrible job and we would rather see these mistakes coming from somebody new than you. You have proven enough to us that you are not worthy of this spot you have been given. It's too much for you. It's too much for you, my boss. So we have, right now, if election call, and then put up Tanto Blacks versus Andrew Olness, Tanto are going to win. If them put up Futa Hype versus Andrew Olness, Futa Hype are going to win. If them put up Twins of Twins versus Andrew Olness, Twins of Twins are going to win. If them put up Ayak Tien versus Andrew Olness, Ayak Tien are going to win. You understand? No, nah, this is Pekka Majena. But respectfully, I think if you step down as Prime Minister and give somebody else it for deal. Kerry Kali, big of yourself. You have only a member of parliament that they were. Them can't get a run at it. At, at, it's like how Bruce stepped down and gave it. Because Bruce realized that too much feeling. If L.A. Lewis. Run versus Andrew Olness right now him win. You understand what I mean, say? So, I just ask you, Mr. Prime Minister, take your foot off of the people, them neck. Please, me I beg you. Um, thus, you can't be an MPC, but you know. We not say if you love politics, because you know, we know the perks of coming being a politician. But then again, I'm afraid for that. Because if he's just a regular MP, America can do what they want to do with him. 
kind of rough here still in the Kind of rough here, but this is where being a leader come in. You have to put the people first. You can't think about your own personal gain alone and make the people them suffer. You understand what I say? You have to put the people them first. And in this case, obviously, we see say, you twist your mouth, you change your mouth, you say one thing in the beginning, now you say a totally different thing. You just not say anything what the American government say because you have no choice because you're in a problem with America. You understand what I say? So instead of suffering the people, brother, step down as prime minister and go and face your problems that you have with the relevant world authorities, them and whosoever, and leave the people out there. The people never do it. Won't no go on with it, the people them not have nothing to do with it. Eh? We won't go on with it, we're getting in a problem now. The people them never have nothing to do with it. So why should the people them suffer? Because a fool no miss up. Why? Why? Why the people them for suffer for what you do? Me just try to understand. You can't dead and willingly know say. You have sacrificed the people them health and them future and them freedom and them 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 work and them sanity. And you continue to do it knowing say I yourself you are trying to save. You can't do that, my G. Remember you have youth, remember you have picnic too. Remember you have woman. You see me? If you even save yourself, you must can save them, my brother. Save the whole Jamaica. Stop making it under that pressure, yeah. And I make it look like uh, this disease, yeah. When I just program your yeah, attack. I just add as your attack from back of my side, yeah. I just program your attack from back of master. And we know this. We know this. Stop, take program and put up the people them as collateral damage, brother. Because as I'm telling already, people, if it was this serious with this disease, you can't have plane come in, you can't have ship come in, you can't have truck a cover go on, you can't have Duns River go on, you can't have Margarita Villa go on, you can't have them beach a open and then you lock up the poor people them then how oh, is it so covid no poor different from rich never did even want to say that word then jesus so the disease no poor different from rich so the, the disease i gotta say oh my god this ship is full of pe rich people I'm going to stay away from the ship. And then the disease is going to say, Oh my God, I love the corner shops. I love Big Jilla Oil. I love it. I love Pono Chicken, but this is where I want to be. That's what you said to me? That's what you're saying to me? Now obviously, the video will come out. It's very detrimental to the MP. Him lose him position in the party I'm have to resign but that video got out because the ancestors them want the people them to see where I'm going nobody in there never have on a mask nobody in there have on any mask and nobody in there was six feet apart the whole of them they near one another had cheers and everything so where is the protocol So I wanna say, so it's true. You say all I wanna do not make no sense. You say if you go in at the airport, everybody have a six feet apart. Check in here for six feet apart. But when everybody go up on the plane, everybody sit alongside one another, less inches apart, not even feet, inches apart. So how it makes sense.
the lids are off the people's eyes, Mr. Olness. And I want you to know that Jamaican people, Jamaican people are a very rebellious set of people. No, Mr. Olness, me always seem to talk some something before it happens. I mean, I know where it come from, but I just have to tell you, Mr. Olness. Please, may I beg you, do not plunge Jamaica into a state of riot. When Jamaican people catch a gear in a rioting in the brother, and a normal something in a me, now you have push the people them back against the wall. What you think I got up when you do that, me G? Please, Mr. Andrew Wallace, I am begging you. Ease up your foot off of the people, them neck, before this thing I get out of. And, no, the same set here, me G. Them just under a spell. Remember, words are spell, you know. Them have the people, them under a spell. Where the warrior side of them are asleep, but it's not dead, brother. It is sleeping, but it's not dead. You do not want to wake up that side of this rebellious nation. So, may I beg you, Mr. Prime Minister, please, please, Mr. Owens, take your foot out of the people them neck go and face your judgment where you have to face by yourself stop sacrificing the Jamaican people the poor class Jamaican people them because of your own thing I beg you me that because when you can an animal in a lion a cat a dog even a bird any animal you can't tell them now nah, where you go. And them free, them all get hurt. You know what they gonna do? They must pass by you. Know? So may I beg you, please, boss man. Please do the right thing. Ease up your foot off of the people, them neck. Or do like Bruce Golden, your mentor. See, I got Bruce and your mentor. See, I got dead and gone. Name so rest in peace. Bruce Golden step down when the pressure get too much. Please do the same. Follow suit. Stop pressure the people. Stop pressure the people. Have a great day. People, remember Gallus Wednesday tonight. Remember pull up Friday, Friday. Everything good. Big up. Bless.